Have you ever wondered if there's a motherboard that's designed for the content creators, artists, or the designers out there? Well, Gigabyte has done just that with this. Hello everybody, I'm Han, we're Studio ASIO and today we'll be bringing you a motherboard for the Intel 13th generation of processor with this, the Gigabyte Z790 Arrow-G a motherboard focused for content creators out there so let's begin the review of this board with the aesthetic and design and looks of the board we can see that the board has a very simple and minimalistic looking aesthetic to it with the primary colour of this board's heatsink being white colour. Now this allows the board to have a very clean and simple design to it and should fit anyone with a more simple looking case design and of course will have minimal RGB towards the whole board's aesthetic. Now, call me a bit old-fashioned, but I actually quite like boards with simple looking aesthetic like this with very minimalistic looking designs. Now, let's jump to the main CPU area of this board. Now, for the 13th generation of Intel processor, you want to ensure that you get enough power delivery to your CPU chip. And for this board, you'll be using a 16 plus 1 plus 2 DRM layout with power stages rated at 70 amps. Now, this board will be mainly focused for content creators and it, so it will be using a 6-layer PCB and it will be enough for the 3900K as well since content creators will likely not be overclocking their CPU a lot and want to have more system stability and for that, this board is perfect for that. Now, let's move from the main CPU area to the memory area of this motherboard and talk about the memory support on this motherboard. For the Z790 Aero G, it will be able to support memory capacity of up to 128 gigs. So that's 4 sticks of 32 gigs of RAM. Now this is great since content creators normally like to have a lot more RAM, be it a video editor or 3D designer. Now besides the memory capacity, this board will also be able to use memory speeds of up to 7600 MHz for DDR5. And of course, it will support the newer standard of XMP 3.0 from Intel. Now let's go move on from the memory area and go to the bottom PCIe area of this board and talk about them. So this Z790 Aero G comes with three full lane X16 physical lanes, with the top lane being a PCIe Gen 5 X16 lane that's uh, controlled directly by the CPU. Now this will ensure that you get enough bandwidth for any of the graphic cards right now that's in the market. And of course, for the top lane over here, you also get steel reinforced as well as this little latch over here to allow you to have an easier time to take out your graphic card. Now the bottom two lane over here are also full lane x16 lane. However, they are only running in x4 electrically and both of these will be running on PCIe Gen 4 and is connected to the chipset. So these are great for anyone looking for expansion cards or recorder cards so clearly focus for the content creators as well. Now in the same area around the bottom here, let's talk about the storage options for this board. Now this board comes with an incredible 5 M.2 NVMe storages, with 4 of them being PCIe Gen 4, and the top one, or the main one over here, will be running on PCIe Gen 5, and it will support X4 NVMe as well. So this is great for the upcoming PCIe Gen 5 NVMe out there, and it will be controlled directly by the CPU. And of course, to ensure that the PCIe Gen 5 NVMe can be kept cool while it's doing large file transfer or while you're doing work, uh, Gigabyte of course provides it with the ThermoGuard 3 solution, similar to the previous Gigabyte board that we reviewed. Do remember to check that out as well. And of course, the bottom slots over here, all of them will get a smaller ThermoGuard to keep them cool as well. Now, all of them will be running on PCIe Gen 4. However, the top slot of the Gen 4, which is the one right below the graphics slot, will be controlled directly to the CPU, while the rest will be directly controlled by the chipset of the Z790. Now, let's talk about the SATA slots on this board. Now, this board will only have four SATA slots. Now, this is likely a decision made by Gigabyte, as it probably sacrificed some SATA slots 
to make way for more NVMe slots since content creators will certainly appreciate support for higher speed storages. So it's nice to see that they have more NVMe storage than SATA slots. Now, let's move on to the back of this motherboard and talk about the rear I.O. starting with the USB. On the top over here, you see that there's two USB 2.0 likely to support for your mouse and keyboard. So we're here. Now right below that, the board will have four USB 3.2 Gen 1 along with two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A and two USB Type C. One being a USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 and another one being a USB 3.2 Gen 2 only. One thing to note about the USB Type C here, it does have the Vision Link which is a single Type C that is able to deliver power of up to 60 watts while able to do data transfer and output video signal all in one port slash cable. Now, what does this mean? Well, it will allow artists to use their drawing tablet such as a Wacom Cintiq to directly connect it via one USB Type-C cable without using all the other cables to reduce cable clutter. Let's have a look at the display output that's available on this board. Besides the previously mentioned USB Type-C display port, there will be a standard DisplayPort 1.4 that's able to support up to 4K 60Hz and of course, HDMI will be present as well with it being a HDMI 2.0 For connectivity, you'll have Ethernet slash LAN support of course with it having a 2.5GB LAN controlled by the Intel chipset and for wireless connectivity, we have the two Wi-Fi antennas which are controlled by the Intel Wi-Fi 6E AX211 chipset so it will be a Wi-Fi 6E capable chipset along with Bluetooth 5.3 together as well. And finally, let's get to the audio ports of the Aero G. There will be two 3.5mm jack with one being for mic and the other one being for line out or speakers. And you get the classic S slash PDIF optical out for anyone using an older sound setup. Coming up, we'll go through the pins and headers of the Aero G. The ROG has one 4-pin and one 8-pin 4 plus 4-pin CPU power connectors, a whopping 8 fan headers, 3 of which are listed for AIO pumps, and for RGB and ARGB headers, you'll be getting two RGB headers, one at the top right and one at the bottom left, and the ARGB headers will be right beside the RGB headers. Now other than that, you'll also get a USB 3.2 Gen 1 header, as well as a USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 Type-C header as well as two USB 2.0 headers. Of course, for a motherboard that's focused on content creation, Thunderbolt connectivity is very important as well. And for this board, you'll be getting two Thunderbolt connectors. A clear CMOS header can be found as well, along with a TPM or Trusted Platform Module header It'll have a dedicated reset button and a button for you to activate the Q-Flash feature to update your BIOS without a processor. And of course, the front audio header will be found at the bottom left of this board. Now, who is this board actually for and who will it actually fit? Well, this board is clearly targeted towards the content creators out there, be it 3D artists, video editors, or even graphic designers. With it having support for the vision link for you to directly link up to a drawing tablet with a screen, as well as having five M.2 NVMe slots as well, along with two Thunderbolt connectivity. This allows you to have a lot of expandability and flexibility for your content creation side of things. But what say if you're a gamer, does that mean this board won't be suitable for you? Well, no actually, this board might be very suitable for you if you're looking for something that's more minimalistic in terms of aesthetic as well as having a lot of M.2 storage expansion as well since games nowadays are getting a lot bigger. So this will allow you to save a lot of games with the amount of M.2 that it has. Now, before we go, we'd like to give a special thanks to Gigabyte Malaysia for providing us with a Z790 ROG. It's certainly a board that knows its intended audience and chooses to push on the features that allow it to make become a great content creation board. And that's all from us today. We hope you enjoy having a review and walkthrough of the Z790 ROG motherboard. Do remember to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as follow us on our Facebook page. That's all from me today. Goodbye everybody and stay safe.